When residents in Albany's South End expressed concerns about local air quality due to heavy truck traffic in the area, DEC's Division of Air Resources responded with a year-long study to evaluate the dispersion of pollution from vehicles. Marilyn Worth, a research scientist with DEC's Emissions Measurement Research Group, is part of the team that's on the front lines of this important initiative. We use portable instruments and portable weather stations that measure wind speed, wind direction, temperature, and relative humidity. These instruments are mobile source indicators of the diesel particulate emissions that are coming from the vehicles traveling through this community. We use the backpacks to carry our portable instruments and actually walk through the neighborhood to capture personal exposure. Because I have a background in environmental health, my research is focused on the health relevant metrics, such as lung deposited surface area. That is the amount of particle surface area that when you breathe actually gets into your lungs. Much of the work happens here at Albany's Ezra Prentice Apartments, where hundreds of trucks roll through every day. Residents in this environmental justice community took notice and got involved. Worth says working with them and getting their feedback has made her a better scientist and public servant. The community has been very receptive to us coming into their neighborhood and setting up the portable monitoring stations and walking through with the backpacks. I can't tell you how rewarding it has been for people to come up and thank us personally and actually say, we're so glad you're here trying to help us. Worth and her co-workers also take great pride in getting young people involved in the process. Local high school and college students got hands-on experience in the field by evaluating the effectiveness of a simulated vegetative barrier and its ability to reduce pollution from the road. I think we need to get young people interested in protecting the environment. The more we can get young people outside experiencing the outdoors and they actually make that connection with the environment, then I think they're going to want to protect it. And she speaks from experience. Worth says growing up she learned from an early age the importance of protecting our natural resources. I grew up in a very small town in northern New York called Waddington. It sits along the St. Lawrence River and is about far north as you can get in New York State. My grandparents ran a small dairy farm where I learned about hard work and perseverance. Their livelihood actually depended on the environment. She credits that upbringing with influencing her decision to study life sciences such as biology, chemistry, and ecology at Siena College before getting her Master's of Science in Environmental Health at the University at Albany. And Worth says if she had it to do all over again, she would 100% choose the same path. I really believe in DEC's mission. It is so essential that we continue to work on environmental issues, especially for our children and future generations. No matter how challenging and complex a problem may be, everyone has the right to live in a better environment. As for the air monitoring at Albany's South End, Worth and her team are now hard at work in the lab analyzing the data collected over the last year so that residents who express concerns are given the information they need.